power. The the Axios headline encapsulates that to a T. Um, I gave you guys the link, Nick, you can show it. The world's richest man, someone who used to be compared to Marvel's Iron Man, is increasingly behaving like a movie supervillain, commanding seemingly unlimited resources with which to finance his mischief making. I mean, what a, like, are you yeah. really, are you serious? This is the same guy that's, that's journalism? Based, I mean, this is the same guy that's, that's doing more on climate change and has been doing it, to, you know, 20 years ago when it wasn't popular, and satellites. But I, I said this before. Travel. And space travel. I and, and I said this before, but I just want to say it again. I think if he does get a control of Twitter and there is a strong, reliable, moral force for free speech, I think that's actually going to be his biggest contribution to society. Because independent of all these other things, you know, we want sort of this political philosophy of democracy and capitalism to roughly work together. And I think it sits on top of this fundamental idea that you can say what you think without retribution. And it's only there you can actually seek out different opinions and try different ideas and say things, and most importantly, make mistakes. And right now, we, we have such a high cost for making mistakes that it just shuts so many people down and out. And if he does that, that's actually a really big deal, I think, uh, globally. You know what that Axios headline could have said, Jamat, that could have said, Elon Musk spends significant portion of his fortune to restore trust in public square by open sourcing. No, but you can't. Open source, hold on, open sourcing the API and allowing transparent um, uh, moderation. No, Jason, Because that's they, what he said in his no, TED talk. Jason, they can't because they lose power if Elon wins and gets control of Twitter. Bro, 